we, we do we do try and inform people of what actually happened. But even if you don't, it's it's a, as I said, it's a bit of a celebration. It's actually reliving uh, the the um, the highlights of the week and hopefully doing it with uh, with a bit of a smile on our faces, which is great. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know where, where else you get that, where, where you get that on, on Australian TV at the moment. We, we, we've got a lot of great shows on TV, but they all seem to be about, about singing or cooking or houses. And, uh, and, and there's not that much comedy left on TV. Um, do you spend the day prior to filming um, just going over all things pop culture and news from around the globe? Or, are you, you, or is it just not as deep and meaningful as that? Um, well, there are... We, we try and have a balance of all things. It's a, it's a bit strange for me because I've, I've spent all of last week trying not to speak to, to Rob Sitch or Tom Gleisner because every week we, we try and put the show together. We sort of create all the categories and all that kind of thing. And every now and again we'll say, I'll, I'll have a go. I'll, I'll go on the show. It's okay for Tom because he's the quiz master. But uh, for me to come on the show tonight, uh, I've basically had to, to sort of jump the other side of the fence really and, and, and put myself in a position of, oh, I actually better listen to what's going on and... Uh, and uh, it means it does. You you do listen to a lot more radio and a lot more television because you don't want to come on and, and and look like Sam Pang, do you? No, 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 never. no. You never want to do that. It's such you guys. You've created. I was talking about Channel Ten with MasterChef, all positive. You've got the Spelling Bee coming up as well, which is all positive yeah. sort of family viewing. This show in itself is fun. It's light. No one's sniping at each other. No, not at all. I well, mean, they are in a nice way. In a nice way, exactly. No, but it's it's sort of it's a bit of a reflection on on what we're like. We 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 uh, we're not sort of the the oh wow these guys are cutting edge kind of guys. We just like to celebrate things for what they are. We've always done that. To tell you the truth, one of the one of the main uh, things that attracted us to the show is we, we just miss a, a good old fashioned quiz show. We you know we love Sail of the Century. We love just classic quiz shows. The even the look of. Um, of blankety blanks, having a couple of banks of uh, of contestants, one above the other. Even the look that we have is there's three down the bottom and two up the top. You know, rather than making it look like a panel show, it's like, there it is. There's a wall of people who just want to talk about stuff. And that, uh, it works a treat. Which categories are toughest for you? For me, um, I think showbiz for me. I don't know what you're like. You're in showbiz. Uh, I know, but I spend all my spare time either watching soccer or wrestling. And, oh, I guess wrestling is showbiz. 